Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can start to set up a store for your RPG game. Now if you take a look at the latest version of the heads up display, on the right hand side here you can see exactly what we're going to be creating. Now this is a very simple and basic store, you guys can add additional items, functionality and so on that is entirely up to you for now I have just put free test items in here essentially the player is going to be able to open this store and then choose an item and pay for it using the coins and you've got the cost next to that item on the right and they must have enough coins in their inventory as you can see in the top left of the heads up display now you guys don't need to export out anything I have done this already for you what you will need is the latest version of the RPG HUD and the RPG assets and there's a little file that you're going to need which is shop background. If you don't have that at the moment just go ahead and download that from the link in the description. As for some of the other elements like the uh, the wood and the coins and the button for closing it, we are just going to be reusing all of the elements that we've already got from some of the other assets. So the buttons, we've already got that. Inside of our inventory icons, we should have some wood um, and all of that great stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight in. So open up Unreal Engine 4 and then what we're going to do is just start off by importing that new file, creating the widget blueprint for it and setting up the appearance side of things and then in the next video we are going to be taking a moment to focus on the functionality for that shop. So go to your third person BP, blueprints and then HUD assets and inside of here in your HUD assets folder just grab your shop BG and just drag and drop that into the content browser to import that. So now that we've done this, go back to our main blueprints folder and then inside of here, we are going to be creating a widget blueprint to contain all of the graphical um, information for that shop and then when we need to, we can just tell that widget to sort of be displayed or not be displayed. So right click in your content browser, go to user interface and create that widget blueprint. Now I'm just going to give this the name shop interface for now open this up and then once it has opened we need to start bringing in some of the elements that we're going to need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick look at this. So inside of here we've got the main background for the shop, we've got a button over here and then because we're going to be clicking these little icons to purchase them those are also going to be buttons. We've got some static images for the coins and also some text here so we're just going to start bringing all of that in there. So what I'm going to do is start off by adding in an image for the background for the shop and then go to appearance and brush and just set this um, to shop shop BG just like that. And then for the the image what you want to do is you want to match up the image size under the appearance here with the X and the Y in the top bit here so just so we have the same size as what's in our Photoshop document so X is 634 and then your Y is going to be 286 and then we should have a pretty reasonable looking store. Now if you remember in the heads up display that's sort of anchored to the right hand side of the screen so what I'm going to do is just move that over to the right select it and anchor it to the right hand side so that it does not move along. Moving on from there we are going to be adding a button for closing the store. So we're just going to um, go to normal for style and we're just going to type in close and find our close underscore normal image, set the margin to zero and then just set the x and the y to 40 by 40 and once again all I'm doing is just getting the image size from down here and putting it into the actual size on the screen and then I'm just going to move it in. Moving on from there do the same thing for hovered but this time it is going to be close underscore rollover margin zero and we're good and then lastly for pressed 
once again, we are just going to use the close underscore normal and then just set the margin to zero. So we've got our close button and now what we need to do is just start adding in the elements for the different items that the player can buy. So what I'm gonna do is go back into this. Now I'm just going to add in um, sort of one of those items for now and if you guys want to add more items, you can do that, it's entirely up to you. So the first item I'm gonna add uh, or the only item I'm going to add for now is going to be some wood. So under brush and appearance, set the image to wood. Um, and what you should have is a little wood icon that we used for our inventory. So let's see if we can find this. Go to inventory items and it's wood logs. And then what I'm going to do is with that selected in my content browser, I'm just going to just press use selected asset from content browser and now we have got that into our inventory as for the size x and y you don't have to have it as big as it is you can make it nice and small it's entirely up to you um, but the most important thing that i'd say is try and think about how many items you're going to have in your shop now if you're only going to have a couple you can make it nice and big um, but if you want to have quite a few of those you're going to make it nice and small also, just like the background, I'm going to make sure this is anchored to the right hand side and the same goes for the button as well. And now what we're going to do is just add in a text block and we're also going to add in an image. So this image is going to be for the coins. So the player knows that the little number next to these coins is going to be the cost of that item. So what I'm going to do is with this image, I'm going to search for an image called coins and then with this I'm just going to set the X and the Y to 24 by 24 as you can see it down here. If that's too big for you, you can make this a little bit smaller, it's entirely up to you. Um, so I'm just going to make this a tiny bit smaller, try and keep these the same so if you're going down to 14 do the same for X and Y because it does need to be proportionate. And then lastly, with this text block, I am just going to set the font style to light. I'm going to make the text a little bit smaller. So I'm going to set this down to something like nine. And then I am just going to put it next to the coins. For the color and opacity, we are just going to be using a light yellow similar to that. And then for the content, now if you're going to be hard coding in the price of an item, you can just put it straight in here or you can use a binding and binding uh, binding it to a variable. But for that, but for the cost of these wood, uh, these pieces of wood, I'm just going to set this to zero free at the minute or actually just set this to 12. I set it to 12. So now you can see quite clearly if you do want that wood, it's going to cost you 12 coins. But from what you can see here is we have got the beginnings of our shop system sort of on the screen. Well, not on the screen, but sort of as part of a widget blueprint. Now, what I'm going to do is actually end the video here. And then in the next video, we are going to be taking a moment to focus on the functionality side of things. Now that we've got all the different elements inside of a um, widget blueprint, getting it displayed on the screen is really easily. And then the only difficult bit is checking to see whether or not the player's got enough coins, if they've got inventory space, and then putting it in there. But that is for the next video. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.